Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last video, we continued our expedition to gather many things, and we gathered many things. And as promised, I went off on my own for a little bit and farmed a few guardians. Protection is now ready to roll. Nice. I did, unfortunately, break my shield in the process. <laughs> Literally the first shot I tried to deflect on my own. I messed up. But, but, that said, I got a lot of gears. I'll show you where I've been, actually. I can show you that I've not been cheating. Um, I've just been kind of, I kind of, you know, I think we were over here somewhere or around here. I just kind of ran around here and killed all the guardians that I could find. I didn't want to go into the Hyrule Castle ruins. I feel that's something that we should do together, you know. <laughs> but um, I had a little look around. I killed all the guardians. And I believe I've got now 38... Um, 38 uh, thingamajiggies gears. So we need two more to get all three items, but then we need another 30 to upgrade them. So we've still got a while to go. We need 70 <laughs> total, which is so many. I've also marked something over here. I found some ruins over here. So if these ruins that I've already marked aren't right. So we've got the sacred ground ones over here. We've got those ones over there. And I marked some others as well over here. There's some ruins there that don't have a name. And... A strange looking building over here. I'm going to stick a marker on as well. So we've got a few more ruins in the area that we can check. I did have a quite a close scout around of the map and I couldn't see any of us in the area. But given that one's across there and that one's across there, maybe I need to expand out a little bit further. There's something like that. East Post. I don't think anything would make sense for East Post. Anyways, we're trying to find the green garments and the phantom armor. And we believe that the phantom armor, the last... No, not the last piece, actually. Oh, oh, I tell you what, folks. I tell you blim blamming what. So, the phantom armor, I've written down. Hyrule Field. Uh, ceremonial grounds, honoring royal guards. That's what we're about to get, I hope. And at a battleground where skills are tested. Does that not look like a coliseum? It circles. <laughs> it says coliseum to me. And then the other one is ruins where sinners are imprisoned. And I've got no none of that really... We need like a jail, don't we? Does that look like a jail? Not really. Maybe it's in the castle itself. No, I think it'll be in the field. I, I think that might be too far north. We'll check it out. This, this, this mountain bit is wild. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one so much, but uh, this one should be an easy get over here. Two gears to go. I'd like to get the full set. Um, it's funny because the the helmet isn't that useful because we already have a guardian resist helmet. But because you need all three pieces tier two for the set bonus, you kind of have to do the helmet anyway. Thus proving once again how useless <laughs> these random items are. <laughs> also, I've been through like so many of my weapons. It's kind of it's getting a little wild actually. Oh, maybe I use uh, you know, probably. Right. So we did come here because we did a memory here. Sorry, Agro, I kind of just parked you in the river. <laughs> we did a memory here at one point. Oh, no, that was easy. But, uh... I, I really like that. I just I like the, the flinging up. It, it makes me happy. It feels like it's been embedded in the dirt for ages. Myths abound about armored phantoms. Okay. I mean, this is cool. This is gonna... Ah, but you can't upgrade it. I'm just doing it because I don't want the goddamn quest marker anymore. <laughs> I guess we could wear it. If we wanted like a full attack set, we could wear it with the other two Berserker pieces we have because we don't have the third Berserker piece at this point in time. But when we do, we're obviously going to use that instead. Anywho, let's go. My Master Sword is dead. Um, I have realized whilst doing this that um, Guardians are quite easy to kill with the Master Sword and really annoying to kill with basically everything else. <laughs> okay? So... I'm probably going to go try to kill this one over here because I just need to... Oh, there's one there as well. Okay. Horse, be careful. Horse, be careful. No, horse, be careful. Oh. I don't know how long I've got left on my Master Sword. I don't think it's long, you know. I, th I think it's nearly there. I burnt through it like twice, though. Oh, six minutes. Run. We're going to go murder this one. There's another one on the left. The sitting down one's obviously a little bit easier. Although not by much. Less than you would think. Actually, in some ways, the harder. Because, um... Oh, I died. 
Am I on fire? Yeah. <laughs> in some ways, the... Oh, I saw a gear. I saw a... Where, did... Where the hell did that go? Oh, it's over there. Okay, one gear to go, baby. Um, in some ways, the walking around ones, which have a lot more health and they give better rewards, they're actually easy to kill because if you break the legs on the walking around ones, they fall over. And you can just kind of stun lock them. Oh, there's a shrine! Quite you. What if I just climb it? It doesn't work. Okay, what if I shoot it in the eye? Okay, cool. That, that's good. That's a good lesson learned right there. Didn't know that. I, I, I vaguely remember hearing that in the past, but I didn't know for sure that if you um, stabbed them in the eye, it disabled their attack. That is very good to know. Okay, that is the 40 gears. Like I say, we need 30 more for this to actually be useful. But don't it's gonna look so cool with that full ancient set and like like some big fancy ass weapon or something. I'm quite excited about that. Alright, come on, buddy, let's go. We're not gonna go right, we're staying away from the castle. I know, it's very spooky, buddy. It's very spooky. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna go Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. <laughs> not sure about this at all. My Right, um... See, you can just... do this, right? And then by the time, if they get away like that, because they do, they back away actively from you. If they do that, you can just... stasis them. Assumably time will have... Are you serious? You cannot shoot at me from there. <laughs> It's fallen over. So at this point, we should use a rubbish weapon to finish it off. Uh, I don't really have any rubbish weapons. Yep. Lovely, lovely. Couple more gears in there. 43. 27 to go, baby. Oh, 26 to go. We're getting there. Slowly. Oh, oh, there's two more over here. Oh, there's one more. 25 to go. You know, you can get quite a lot. You really can. Oh, I cannot. Oh, I do want to go in there. It looks cool. Let's just have a little look inside. It's just a chest. That's okay. I'm glad we came. I'm glad you came. And maybe we can just get. I mean, I do a lot of damage with my arrows as well. So maybe it's worth just shooting them in the face sometimes, you know? The world is full of mystery. Come on, buddy, you can do that. Come on, aggro. There you go, good lad. Alright. This is an area we haven't really explored. And like I said, I'm trying to stay away from the castle proper because I feel like that's something we'll do later anyway. Come on, aggro. Come on, aggro. There we go. Good lad, good lad. Oh, I also marked another shrine that I saw. Uh, it's over there, so I want to go grab that at some point. Just randomly spotted it while I was doing my scouting. Oh, we should take off that marker there. Onwards! Do more of these bastards. <laughs> Miss you, Master Sword. I'm a little scared about how close aggro is to me. <laughs> right, okay. Come here. There we go, there we go. You're not really trying to kill it or stunlock it completely there, you're just trying to get it to the point that you can then stasis it again and then you can go in and hopefully break another leg. And now it stuns it, as you can see. When it has no legs, at the very least, it can't chase you anymore. And then you can stasis it again. Okay, I've had a lot of practice fighting these bloody things, you know? <laughs> I 
Do, do. It might be worth buying. I, I know I was hesitant about it. It might be worth buying some ancient swords and stuff. We've got so many springs and scrolls. Although I'm tempted to just sell them. We're gonna need them for upgrades, aren't we? Inevitably on the gear. So let's just let's just keep that in mind. Um, I've got a real problem of lack of weapon. We weapon. We weapon. We where my weapon? We <laughs> fifty-one though. I can actually upgrade one of the items. Nineteen to go, baby. Nineteen babies to go. That's so many babies. Let's just try out. It's this way. <laughs> In this not at all terrifying direction is where it is. Where am I going? Quarry ruins, okay. I was curious about the quarry ruins as well. This was on my list last time about a place that could have something. I suspect my suggestion that it could be quarries in your quarry, something you're trying to catch. Um, I, I feel like that is very, very optimistic, <laughs> to be honest with you folks. But you never know. I actually don't see any ruins here, the quarry ruins, weirdly enough. Maybe there. Where is this supposed shrine? Oh, it's there. Hey. Hey, buddy. Didn't see you there at all. Kata Chuki. See you moving around up there. Oh, this should heal me up. At least... I'm hoping that the next tier of upgrades after level 2 doesn't require gears. Because then I can just ignore this forever. Need a beverage. I'm assuming the ancient weapons. That's a strength. <laughs> well, you know what? This is okay. I hope it's major, because then I get three weapons. Mine? Oh, God. All right, well, I'm going to get one rubbish weapon. Which is actually not that... God, I don't have anything, man. All right. Major would have been a lot better. This is going to give me one mediocre weapon. I think this is what you need ancient swords and stuff from. For. But they break, man. They break. It makes me sad. Ah, oh, come here. Oh, you didn't die. Yeah, that might be the first time I've ever been hit by that. <laughs> I know I've got the Master Sword, but because this is nearly dead, I'm just gonna burn through it, yeah. Should be it, right? I mean, how good's the Guardian Spear? The basic one. Ugh, God. Makes me so sad. I can't, I can't use a 10 damage spear. I just can't. It's just not realistic. There we go. We've got a gear, though. You know what? One gear. I'll bloody take it. 28 to go. 28 to go? How many do I need? 70. 18 to go. Maths is hard. That I'll use. That's alright. 26 damage. That'll be my primary weapon. For Actually, well, obviously not the Master Sword will be. But then we'll use that. That's alright. All those weapons that I threw away over time doing all those major sets of strength. I would like to go get them all back now, please. Somehow. Magically. That would be nice. Bloop. Um... Um. I'm gonna stop there. Anywho, we can check the quarry. There's a little bridgey looking bit that looks a bit suspicious. Then we'll head west to that other place I marked. And then when that's inevitably wrong, we'll head south to the other place I marked. And one of the places I marked will be the place I want to be. Probably. Alright, yeah, I wanna go this way. Man, I don't wanna go anywhere near these scout things. I hate them so much. So very much. Got anything for me? Ah, how many of these? How many screws? 167. Well, like I said, I think we need those for upgrades as well. It's not just gears. Is that Alexa? <laughs> I see you over there. I got my Master Sword. I want to utilize the Master Sword as much as I can. And that really means killing these whenever I see them. We are in the ruins of Hyrule Castle, more than I ever intended to be. It looks really cool, though. Charge, don't use stasis yet. You run in first, then you stasis, and they start to back away. If you don't have stasis, it'll be really annoying, actually. But 
the Master Sword, it's for 60 damage against these guys. So, it's a beast. Oh no, you can't move. I don't know if they automatically die when that happens. It does, I, I think it tends to work out like that. I don't know if it's always. Yeah, the Master Sword makes them so trivial, as long as you can get on top of them, you know? Um, 50 set 13 to go. We're actually pretty close to making this a reality. That's pretty sweet. Pretty blimmin' sweet. What are these? Water reservoir. I knew it. I just, I just knew it. I just bloody knew it. Numpty. <laughs> All right, let's have a little look. I've, I've not been doing this enough throughout the entire game. This would be one of my, like, you know those guides that you have online where it's like, um, oh, top tricks for top 10 beginner tips for a game or something like that, right? I, I looked at one of those for, for this game. And it's little things like, you know, maybe buff stamina before health and stuff like that. Nobody said to check every single body of water with Magnesis because I would have been doing this for the entire game. Really would. Oh, do I have to flip this? Is this how he did it? Yeah. Duck, I would get out of here, buddy. I would at least duck. <laughs> I, think I, I think I just hit a fish. It's not what I was looking for. It's not the, the ones I needed, clearly, but. You well, know, 100 rubies and 5 bomb arrows. I'm not going to complain. Fish. I want the fish. Eh. Oh, more fish. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a lot of fish. I saw um, there's some new images just came out for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, and it's like, um, I think they're called Redads. I'm trying to remember the name. They were in. So, in the original Ocarina of Time, um, a lot of the game had a time travel mechanic. It was a huge part of the game. Like a lot of Zelda games have had, actually, over time. And what that meant was you would play the game as both young Link at the start, but then you would travel in time and you'd become old Link. And it's young Link, everything was lovely jubbly. As old Link, things were a goddamn disaster. Oh wait, no, was it the way around with the castle? I don't remember. Where am I going again? <laughs> Sorry, I'm lo oh wait, I'm, not, no, I'm going this way. Um, this is the kind of situation where there's no point calling the horse really, I want to climb. I can't remember if it was old or young. I think it must have been old, logically. But anyways, you would go to Hyrule Castle. And outside the front of it, so kind of like the area we, we were just there, you know, the ruins in front of the castle. Um, and all the villagers had been turned into zombie creatures called Redads. And they were like brown, shuffling, molting monsters. And if they got hold of you, they would grab onto you. And they would kind of like nom away at you. All right, how have I come here, but never there? That seems like be a fairly consistent thing in this game. Yeah, it is ribbons. It doesn't look like a prison, though, does it, really? I guess there are sentries in the area, though. Oh. <laughs> I was so sure that would be a Korok. Um, anyway, they're called Redeads, and they were absolutely terrifying. I see these monsters that would glom onto you, and they would kind of, like, sit on you almost, you know, like, piggyback onto you, and just, um, nom, nom, and chew on you. And one of the images for uh, Thingy, for um, Tears of the Kingdom, appears to be a Redad. So I'm quite excited about that. I, I like tapping into that nostalgia. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. <laughs> Bear with me. Sometimes, the only reason I really get properly hurt on these is because I mess up, you know, something like what just happened there. It happens. Or I miss a leg. Yeah, no, I think that's all the legs off, isn't it? And it's not broken. Yeah, because obviously it can't move anymore. Pretty sure this explosion doesn't hurt, but I'm not. <laughs> I still get scared and don't really want to try it out. 59. 
So 11 to go. There's another one there. 10 to go. 10 to go. We're getting there, folks. And there's no there's no cost to this because I'm using the Master Sword. I guess the time to wait for the Master Sword to come back. And I don't really like doing it with anything other than the Master Sword, so I probably won't. But, yeah, it's good. Ten of them. It's a lot. This is a spooky little place we've arrived. Does it have a name? Like, I'm not seeing a title. Castle Town. Oh, hey, there we go. Well, I wanted a prison. What are those? I need to find a rusty shield. Uh, that seems unlikely. What's that? Is that a rusty shield by any chance? Is that the chest? Oh, it's the chest. Hello. <laughs> yeah. All right, sweet. Tingle shirt. Once was a man who claimed to be da da da. Okay. All right. So what happens if I wear the full tingle set? Other than looking immense oh, night speed up. Yeah, it's not very good. But it's very stylish. <laughs> I think that's uh, pretty, pretty obvious how stylish I am right now. It's my walking around set. But hey, that's another one done. Okay, I can get rid of the green garments for my list. Um... Okay, so I just need one more piece for the Phantom Armor as well. So let's go check out that Colosseum looking place because that's looking pretty promising to me. Pretty promising. Having a quick little look for a shield. Seems optimistic. I say that, but surely there's one in the area. You can't expect people to be carrying a shield around with them. And am I going to go pick one up just for the sake of a Korok shield? A Korok seed and come back? Probably not, realistically. Oh, oh, yeah, I tell you what, some stuff over here. Hey, that, oh, okay, okay, that looks good to me. Yeah, very cool. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, very cool. Let's go, buddy. I figure it's quicker than dropping a shield, and, you know. You know, you know the drill. Okay, now this is a matter of very skillful balance, obviously. Mm, mm, mm. Nice. Yeah ha, -ha. Make this um, say the line Bart. <laughs> bye bye. Have a beautiful time. Right. Okay, so that one done. Let's head down to there next. That Colosseum looking thing. And then it's the Ancient Mask, and it's the Twilight Helmet. And I think after that, we are actually done with our EX quests. And there's a couple more. There's at least one more, but I can't do that. That's inside the castle. I think there's only one more. It seemed impossible not that long ago, but once you sit down and actually read them and think about it, and actually more than anything else, more than any of that that I'm saying, it's about... Um, What's, what have I marked here? It's a little ruins or something. Oh, yeah, there is. It's about looking at the map, really, and picking out the names on the map. Oh, this is the area I refused to come to earlier. <laughs> right. It's because I don't want to... I don't want to waste Master Sword on the Coblins anymore, you know? Let's just, let's just venture at the table. Ow. Boys, big boys, don't turn into skeletons and try to kill you at night time. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, it's a, t it's a, it's a cork. Um, let me just, let me just move this one up. I'm confused. Which one's the wrong one? <laughs> How does this make sense? I don't know how it does. All right, my inclination is to put it there, but it seems wrong. I, uh, hmm. <laughs> right, it's 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 let's 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 call the heights various things. So that's a t 
That's a, that's a three, two, one, right? Three, two, one. So it's a two, three, three, two, one, one, two, two. Two, three, three, two, one. Oh, right, no, I get it, I get it. It goes in this corner. It goes in the corner. <laughs> Fuck, there we go. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. Love you. Bye bye. So okay, I've got six cork seeds, spare ones anyway. I think it's probably fourteen or sixteen or eighteen. It's gonna be a lot, isn't it? I don't. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I'm not full of confidence that we're gonna get the next one, but six is a good start. This is terrifying. What's going on here? What the heck in heck? Okay there, pal. Take that, monsters. Give me the weapons. Treasure. Zzz, I just can't blink. Okie dokie. Not at all risky place to drop the loot. Thank you for that. I'll just wander all over those barrels. Oh, it's a Lionel. Okay. Oh, God. What color Lionel is that? Okay. Right. White Lionel. Very scary. Uh, right. We need to gear up for this. Do I have any health buffing food? Yeah. We got this fish skewer, I guess. We want the attack. Uh, we want the full defensive armor set. Mm, do I want full defensive armor? Why do I want the attack boost from the helmet? Yeah, let's go attack boost. Um, I want my best bow, which I guess is any of these, really. I don't have many arrows, which is concerning. But we've got loads of bomb arrows. If I have to use bomb arrows, I'll use bomb arrows. Weapon-wise, we're going to get a good weapon from killing it, so I'm okay using... Say the spear or the sword. That sword is mad. 58 damage on a one-handed weapon. Let's use the spear. I don't need to block, do I? Not really. Not if I play it correctly. That's saying a lot, admittedly. <laughs> All right, Lionel. Let's dance, buddy boy. You're standing between me and my ancient mask, I think. You know what's funny? I dodged in that exact same way last time in that I missed the first two, but got the third one. Oh, and then I turned around <laughs> and crouched like an idiot. Oh, calm down, Bucko, calm down. Oh, God, just Lionel's using up all my health as usual. Really? This inability to... Oh, my God, stop crouching! Um, I don't want to use. I don't really want to use that. Stand up, Link! Link, please stop crouching, for the love of God. Yeah, I shouldn't have risked that. I thought, ah, I don't, I don't need to stasis, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, I've got this in the bag. I don't have it in the bag. I don't know where the bag is, but it's not here. Come on, then. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, I should start should stop playing with fire here. Bloody hell. God damn! <laughs> so bad. So very bad. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that actually. I'm, I'm climbing a map. I am climbing a map, yes. 
Mount, damn you, Mount Link. <sighs> what? There we go, there we go. Oh, my arrows, I didn't realize. Oh, God. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much. That's such hard work. Burn through a little bit more than I'd like, but I mean, I, I've definitely got enough stuff that I can go ahead and I can. Uh, there you go, well chuffed. Um, so I might as well drop that. Uh, got a lot of Lionel bows. Maybe I'll just keep using this one until we've used it up, basically. We've got so many. Right, well, this place is strange. Um, do you want me to climb up there, or can I get it down here? Magnesis! Oh, there we go. Oh, those white made Lionels. They're, they're hard work. Especially when you're trying to preserve weapons and stuff like that, you know? But there we- Ow, ow! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> this is our ancient mask. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's the phantom mask. Oh, no, this- Yeah, okay, never mind. Myths abound about armored phantoms that terrorized brave heroes. This helmet looks like the one they supposedly wore. Cool. All right, let's see what we get for this full set. And how cool we look. Do we look cool? We look pretty cool. I mean, we don't gain anything in that regard. But, I mean, it's a full damage up set. And it's the same um, defensive set. It's not a bad set. It's the same defense stats. It's a level 2 barbarian set. So if we were going full damage in, like, a stasis kill build, this would actually be really good. That's not bad, that phantom set. That's not bad. One to keep an eye on, I think. Bling! Okay. Um, I'm just gonna nip back over there. We don't need many more. <laughs> oh, many more uh, gears. Ten, I think it was. If I can get just a handful more kills. You know, the, the Master Sword is up at the moment. So I kind of feel like I need to be efficient and use it. But anyways, that is the Phantom Armor done. So we've got two left. The Ancient Mask and the Twilight Helmet. I saw Lake Colomo, which is where the Ancient Mask is. I saw that on the map not that long ago, so I know I can find that again. Uh, anyone want to try to murder me? I don't think they've respawned, have they? Oh, there. Hello, buddy. Oh, there's someone behind me. All right, all right. Wait, oh, come. Seriously? Oh, God, okay. Yeah, I forgot to use my arrows. I don't want to use bomb arrows. Um, shock. Gears! Oh, shaft is... Oh, I got shafted. <laughs> I need gears, man. Gears, it's all I need. The walking ones haven't respawned, and these ones, much rarer, have gears, right? You get one or two, usually one, realistically. Sometimes zero, apparently. I didn't expect that. This is the, um, this is the first one we ever killed. This one right here, funnily enough. Come on, baby. Be good to me. I'll be so good to you. You were the first one. You were my first. You know? <laughs> okay, 61. I need nine more. I think I probably have to wait for the next Blood Moon, annoyingly. I guess we could force it. But there's other things to do, so that'll do for now. Uh, what have I marked out? Oh, I don't need that anymore. I, I thought they were relevant ruins, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So, let's go to that as well. It's a scary little area. 
Um, oh, there's also a shrine up there I want to do. Wait, where is it? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. That was a shrine. It was a shrine. <laughs> That's why I marked it. Is that where it was? Oh, I don't know. I'll find it again. It's fine. Um, ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, Lake Colomo. Colomo? Colomo is visible. And I've seen, I have seen Lake Colomo. Just have to find it again. Lake Colomo. It's down, I think it's down here. I think it's down here. Lake Colomo. Ayo. Ayo. I saw I swear to God I saw it. I swear to God. It's, it's I swear it's around here somewhere. Game, you're making me look silly. Where the hell is Colomo? We I mean, have to find it. We can't do it even else, so I'll bloody find it, so we just have to keep going. I swear it was down there near the bottom. I don't think it's up here. Hmm. I've probably gone past it like several times. Haran. Heron. Colomo. River of the Dead. Have I been there? I guess I have. Well, sort of. That's kind of where we started. Yeah, yeah interesting. We should climb Mount Hillier at some point. There's got to be something up there. Probably just a core rock, admittedly, but... Where the freaking... Ah, there it is, Lake Colomo. Okay. Well, I really haven't been here at all, have I? Oh, yeah, it's not that far. Oh, God, it's right there. Um, ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, Lake Colomo is visible. Hmm. Are they ruins there? I mean, they are ruins. Oh, those are ruins. Ah, it could be there. We've not been there. Okay, let's go for that. That'll be the next one. Uh, probably quicker to go from here. I mean, the ruins go on the lake. Seems promising. And then, and then, one to go, and all those stupid little quests. Except one. I mean, they've clogged my inventory, but that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. Nine gears. It's quite. Fr it's it's frustrating in a way. How close I am to glory. Uh. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh right. You know. You know what this is because we're at the starting location ish. You know we're in that sort of the the basically right. Okay. No, this does make sense. Um. There are three chests lying around this area. One of them has like a stupid Nintendo Switch shirt. One has Ruby and one has, I can't remember what the one has. And it's just like little chests if you have the DLC and it's kind of like a way to help beginner players get like their foot in the door basically. So that's, that's what we just saw. Not too bothered about those, it must be said. Okay, those town ruins. I don't know if it's... I mean, it could be like those ruins over there. Gatepost town could definitely be a place where soldiers would gather. Is that what it says? Yeah. And you can definitely see Lake Colomo, so... But let's go check this one out. See what we're dealing with over here. If you got a the game. What are these called? I want, like, garrison or soldier house. <laughs> there we go. Gar gar garrison ruins. Exactly what we're hoping for. And there's the chest. Easy peasy. Yeah. This didn't hit me this time. Oh. It's Majora's Mask. It's my favorite game. <laughs> so stylish. So stylish. <laughs> An eerie mask passed down from ancient times. Where it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. It's a rather rare find. I wonder what it makes hot. I'm going to wear it for a little bit, just because it is my favorite game. And I want to look sexy. Which I think we can all agree has been well achieved by this mask. Make sure we get a nice screenshot. It's not a good game for screenshots, because the camera tilts up. I want to, like, I want it to push it into ground. It's like, t it's focused on his head. Whereas I want to push it into the ground so I can get the full body in. But still, very, very stylish. Right. One left to go. Let me have a little look here. Look at all those done. 
Right, well, I mean, that one I can't do yet. That one we're going to work on. This is it. The temple ruins soaked in the waters of Regencia River. Now, we saw Regencia River, didn't we? There it is. Could it be those? That looks good to me. That Those look like ruins soaked in water. Let's go check it out. Then we'll be done. God, I look sexy. <laughs> Very excited about the sexiness. Um, oh, let me stretch my leg again. This right leg has really become a problem leg. I'm going to get new legs, I think. So I need a new throat and a new legs. What is all throat and legs? Is there any animal that's basically just throat and legs? Giraffes, actually, are very much throat and legs, if you think about it. Because, <laughs> you know, big long neck, big long legs. Less so everything else. I mean, they've still got some other stuff going on, but there's a, there's a, you know, a focus on those bits. Really was hoping that I'd avoided that. Got them choo choo trying to get me killed. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to heal. I should really stop wearing the <laughs> the mask, to be honest. Wait, are they? Oh, they always count. They always. Okay. I didn't realize these already count as cogs. They're actually a bit terrible then. Got them choo choo. And no gears. Fantastic. Was it flown away somewhere else? No. Look how scary I am. Why are they attacking me? Like, sh Ooh, that's a big bird. Oh, of course it's a big bird. Like, they must know they don't stand a chance against the might of Majora. <laughs> cannot, cannot overstate how happy the saddle makes me. <laughs> it's so good. I feel like I was missing out on part of the game in a weird way without it, you know? And I, I retain it should be in the game by default. I know I've said that a lot of times now. I'm going to keep saying it because it's true. I do. I will get less resources hanging out on the horse. Oh, oh, yeah. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. That's funny. You think at this point. Well, I was just thinking that. Well, you know, I've got a few Koroks. At some point, you know, they're gonna get harder to find. But I don't even have one eighteenth of the number of Koroks in this game, so that isn't really the case. I, I am very much of the opinion if I went back and did it all again, I would find a lot more this time. Like if I replayed the game, I would get a lot more Koroks like from the very start because I just know what to look for much more. I'm still learning new ways of picking them up, even to this day, you know. All right. I gotta stay back a little bit. I'll be back in a bit, buddy. Da, 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 da. It must be scary for the horse, I think. <laughs> I keep seeing me wander off and then it just gets teleported into the middle of goddamn nowhere. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Sage Temple Ruins. What did it say? Did it say temple? It, it did say Temple Ruins and they are soaked in the water, so this has to be it. I see something? I see a sword over there. Oh, I see something over there. I think that might be it, actually. What have we got? What are you? Nope, that is a shield. Okay. It's a spear. Right, I'm going to have to deal with those Lizolphuses, I think. Hey. Uh, right, what do we use? Oh, yeah, we've got this. Not this. <laughs> this. I mean, 28 damage is actually pretty good for her. Hmm. I think I've got a bad bow, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Give me your body. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my stasis? Stasis is going to save the day here. Ah! Come on, man. Ah! 
So annoying. <laughs> so incredibly annoying. But that's a lot of arrows you get just for doing that, so. Um, I think there's one more in the area. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah. I know what I'm about. Oh, no, that's not it. But it is a chest. You know what? While we're fighting just terrible, terrible enemies. Sure. Just doing it to save the other stuff, really. Okay. Up we go. Up we go. Right. I'm like 99% sure this is the spot, right? Just about finding it. Keep on climbing up. I don't know if it'll be in the water. Oh, that's that. It's not a shield, is it? No, I think we're good. I think we are cooking. If lovely, 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 lovely. Give it a good old boot. Midness helmet. Guardian resist up. <laughs> I never have enough guardian resist helmets, you know. As they always say, Midna is the helper character. I think Midna turned out to be, I can't remember who Midna actually turned out to be, but Midna is um, from uh, Twilight Princess. And she rode on your back when you were a wolf. She wore a helmet like this and had stupid hair. I don't remember the hair being bright orange, but you know, it's, it's not like a game I play, so. Right, success. Sucks. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful short thing. I, I am going to have to do that eventually because, you know, I need to get rid of it. Still don't know where the Leviathan bones are. Tell you what, let's go to finish things off. Let's try trying this. Um... No, this probably wasn't the place. I need to find a spot where I can rest near the mountain. See if we can find uh, this dragon. I don't even know if it spawns here, but I forget if I wait around for a day. I was meant to do this off video, wasn't I? <sighs> it's a lot to do still. This probably is not the best place, I've got to say, to spot this thing. Also, I'm on fire. <laughs> my, there's a few details, problematic ones here. That's uh, Me being on fire is one of the problems. I mean, if it does spawn, he... Oh, this is a really good place to find some shrines, actually. I think I said that last time. Is a shrine... Yeah, I mean, yeah. can we float all the way down there, do you think? There you go. Where are you, Dinral? Where are you, you cheeky blighter? I don't know if it spawns here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's that in the distance? Is it moving? No, I think it's a distant mountain. It's in the shape of a dragon. <laughs> I'm very suspicious. I don't think I've spent much time here at night though, so my inclination is to come back at night to see if I can find anything. Um, other than that, I don't really know what to do in terms of Din Rall. It's the only one I haven't found. He's a pitter, I'll tell you that much. Blimmin' pitter. It's chilled though. Also, where's, where's the skeleton around here? This, this Leviathan skeleton. Hmm. How have I still never been over there? It seems very weird to me. There must be a shrine over there. I don't see where they would be hiding a giant skeleton. <laughs> you know? They are somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Am I going to make this? This is a hell of a journey we're going on here. I'm actually not this way. We'll try to land on that rock in front of us. Keep an eye out for shrines and skeletons, I suppose. I don't think we're likely to stumble upon anything in this direction, but you never know. It's a cool place, though. Da, 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 da. I think what we'll do in the next video is... Right, we're going to get this shrine. I'm going to 
do the oh god do i have any do i have any do i have any stamina food yeah okay let's just mm, that heals a lot do i have anything that heals oh, that's better though i'll use that one um blah, 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 blah. you know what i mean you know what i mean um i know what i mean <laughs> at least somebody does <laughs> um all right, yeah, I'm gonna do the master trials up until the stage where I died. I can't remember if that's seven or eight or something like. That. It was the second level, I think, after the break. So I'm gonna do that before the next video, and we'll kickstart mid master trials on that same level, and hopefully we'll get the beginner ones done at the very least. Please, thank you. And then I need to have a stop. Let's try to get some stamina back. Stopping this little bit over here. And then, we're not going straight to the Gerudo. I know we were doing this bit next, so we can go explore there, get a few more shrines, see what's going on over there in general, yada, yada, yada. Do some more quests, and then we're going to go tackle the uh, final Divine Beast. Very, very exciting. This would have been a lot easier if I just... I just figured, you know, I'm up there, I'm far away, let's see if we can make it, but I really should have just... <laughs> I really should have just fast travel to that tower. Realistically. Now, where is this shrine? I'm not crazy. That's stable. Yeah, but that's not the stable. It's over there. Really should have gone from the tower. Hmm. I'm not crazy. There's one here. I know I took off the mark by accident. And I've... Wait, 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 wait. What, what's going on in the middle? Look directly above my paraglider now. What is that? It's like a circle, but... It, it's like a circle castle-looking building. But it does seem to go into the ground. It looks like a hole. And that means it's a goal. Let's get moving. To the funky, funky beat. Don't stop moving to the S Club beat. Right, Castle, how you doing? How you living? Living large? See the tower? I mean, I've got to say, the view distance on the game, as I said, is remarkable. You can see the Gerudo Tower over there in the distance. Okay. This, is, this must be the entrance to the shrine. That was fortunate, actually. Or it's just a weird prancing lightning boy. <laughs> All I thought this went into the earth. It doesn't. It is just this dude being a nerd. Wow, okay. Killing him just in case. No. Hey, little guys. I was hoping he'd have, you know, the. Um, we've seen the blizzard rod, we've seen the meteor rod, we still haven't seen the. I've got to imagine it's like the storm rod or something like that. Wait, no, I, I'm, I'm an idiot. I know where the shrine is. I've seen it. Otherwise, how would I know to come here in the first place? Herpaderp? It's on the other side of the mountain, but it is, it is out in the open. It's not hidden away. I just want to look over there. I saw some lava and I'm intrigued. It's not lava, it's just this orange water. <laughs> it's Lilt. Lilt? Fanta. Iron Brew. Iron Brew is what I was thinking of. Fanta works. Let's go get this bloody shrine and call it a day. Is this where it was? I mean, it must have been. It can't have been, because I wouldn't... This can't be the one that I saw, because I wouldn't have seen this. Surely. How would I have spotted this? I guess maybe I could catch a glimpse of it. Is that the one? I, I think that's the one I saw over there, isn't it? I marked it too far. Yeah, it is. I marked too far north. I th maybe? I'm not, I'm not... I'm not convinced. I've wait, that's two shrines, though. That's very exciting for me, so... Namika Oz. Let's get this one done. Call it a day, then we'll start next video. Oh, no. We're going to leave that shrine that we just saw till afterwards. I want to start the Master Sword trial thing again. And if we fail or succeed, we'll go get that shrine, and then we'll head to that new zone, north of Gerudo Desert. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Vagrin, that's a great plan. Modest, okay. Modest is okay. We can get some We can get some gear from a Modest. Um, nothing that I'd be too excited about, but that's okay, because it means I can actively use it and not feel bad. So, eh, you know. 
Maybe we'll get some gears. Also, I haven't seen a modest one in ages, so I'm going to take a photo. Doodly, doodly, doodly. Oh, you had to ruin it. It was going to be perfect. And then at the last second, you decided to be a massive nerd. I'll do. I want all my photos to be really good, but I'm also a little bit too lazy to do it, you know? Interesting. Is there... God, this weapon sucks. <laughs> Is there a maximum damage... That can be done in stasis. It feels like there is. Oh, that didn't go bad. That didn't go well. Uh, I had another fairly bad weapon. Yep, I'll do. I feel like there's a. If it's not a damage, it's like a maximum number of hits. And obviously, you're much more likely to hit that with speed than anything else. Since it attacks faster than every other weapon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> You'll notice that I, once again I'm using a very appropriate armor set. Let me just change to my. I'll tell you what. Um. There we go. This weapon's got some legs on it. Yeah, I feel like we don't see modest tests. I feel like I've seen loads of minor, loads of major, very few modest ones. So I think, yeah, there's some new stuff here. Well, the Guardian Spear Plus. Maybe the Guardian Axe Plus might be new as well. No. But hey, two gears. Two freaking gears. Seven to go, baby. Seven to go. And durability up. I'll use that. That's fine. It's only 15. It's actually pretty bad. But once I've been through this, I'll burn through those two next. Why does this have plus throw in it? What is it going to do with plus throw? It's an axe. <laughs> Why do I want to lob my two-handed axe across the planet? Exactly, game. I don't want to lob my two-handed axe across the planet. You numpties. Blum. Alright. I mean, none of these excite me, really, but... I'm going to keep using this just because I know it's already damaged. But they're all weapons that I would happily use. And that's important. Weapons that I don't mind burning through. So I can save my stuff for that point that will never ever arrive. <laughs> I'm always planning for an eventuality that never actually happens. It is it is a common problem for me. I, 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 overtly, I overly prepare, you know? I know that in some ways. Which is weird because I'm so unorganized. I, I don't know how those two correlate, but whatever. Whatever. You're not my real dad. Um, we should probably upgrade our health before we do... Let's do that quickly. Let's go buy some arrows and upgrade our health at... Uh, well, where else am I going to do it, eh? Kakariko, obviously. I look like a baller. Yeah, we'll go do this. Because the more health we have before this... I'll probably do some cooking as well. Because I want to go in there with as many plus yellow hearts as possible. Um, they're not going to last all the way, but I think if I play well, I could have them last till at least the point where I died last time, you know? So, yeah. Let's go buy some arrows. Let's level up our health. I'll do some cooking. And then next time, we'll start off with the Master Trials again. Very exciting. On the plus side, Master Trials don't cost me anything other than my um, my uh, self-respect. <laughs> so, you know, there's no, there's no opportunity cost at all. It doesn't cost me anything to attempt it. I'm not burning through my own gear, not burning through my own food, except whatever I use beforehand. Um, my self-respect is the only thing that suffers. So that's, that's good. Self it's already in the bloody mud anyway, so <laughs> who cares? Get that, buddy. I'm not losing to him. Damn right, you tell him, Bucko. You tell him. Mm, wrong shop. That's good, because I'm I've just remembered I'm gonna need that in a minute. Arrows. Yeah. 
Which obviously we don't need for this, but I just always need arrows. I have zero at the moment. The temptation is very real to just go to every single shop and buy every arrow. But that's a start. How many have I got? 20, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I need a cooking pot. There's a cooking pot, so I am going to do some cooking and I'll get the trial started. We'll go through all of that. Well, I'll go through all of that. And then next video, that is where we will start things off. And then we'll um, go do that shrine over there. Not there. <laughs> uh, that's right, over there. We'll go do that shrine and then we'll head down there. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.